Hello and welcome back to the House of Valentina fashion channel. Today we're going to be talking about trends that are hitting the stores right now and you are going to absolutely love all throughout 2023. These are trends that are easily accessible whether you want to spend in the designer shops or you want to hit mainstream shops. You're going to find it everywhere and these are styles that you're just going to absolutely love and you're going to have a lot of fun trying on and we're going to just give you lots of ideas today about how to mix them into your wardrobe and just some new ideas for styling them up. I hope that sounds like a lot of fun and that you want to hit subscribe and hang around. We'll definitely be having more videos like this coming up very soon. But for now, let's jump into today's video. Okay, so Lux Leather is our first one and I am so excited about this because I just I absolutely love to wear leather and I am so excited that this is such a big trend and that it is everywhere. It's so nice because there's so many different options out there if you are a fellow lover. So what does Lux leather even mean? Well, you're gonna see it ranging all the way from the very tippy top where all these high, where the couture designers are bringing out really high designs with beautiful intricate detail work. You'll find dresses, you're gonna find tops, you're going to find all kinds of new pieces and new ways of using leather. And they're gonna be doing it in a very luxe way. Whether you wanna spend at the top or you want to test the waters with something that's a little bit more affordable and see if it's for you, you're gonna have a ton of options. So some things to be on the lookout. First of all, you're gonna see some beautiful embroidery done inside of the leather. Oh, Chloe has like blew my mind. Oh my goodness, the top and the skirt that they've got that they just came out with, absolutely gorgeous. Then you could also do one of the tops. You could mix it with leather on leather. You could do leather trousers or faux leather and a leather top. You could also add that again, add it with a skirt, add it with some shorts as the weather warms up again, or even shorts with tights is another look that you could do. Lots of options out there. This look is going to be a lot of fun to do. You can also grab a dress. There's gonna be lots of dresses. I felt like last year we saw this trend really hit the stores and this year it's like even more. And so I really love it. I like the edginess of leather. I feel like it just adds this sort of like, just a little bit of grit to an outfit, but then it can be equally just as sophisticated. It's gonna be a lot of fun to play with. I have personally jumped onto this. I bought a leather dress from Massimo Duty, and when that came in, I was like, oh my gosh, this is the coolest piece ever. I love it belted. I thought that this, that just like looked amazing. I paired it with a pair of boots. It was really cold that day and a wool coat, but I'm excited to also wear it with an open toe shoe coming up. Uh, without the coat as well, you'll really get to see the dress. There's a lot of different ways that you can style up a piece like that. And if you have a dress, you can also throw a sweater over it, just get some more looks. It's a lot of fun. It's gonna be fun to style that piece up. I've also purchased some pieces off of Walmart. They had some faux, dress, faux leather dresses that were absolutely amazing. I've also shopped on Amazon for faux leather blazers and some other items like that. Jonathan Simakai is another one. If you want something that's a little bit more elevated and you have a little bit more money you want to invest in this trend, I would definitely look at those pieces. There's a possibility that I've ordered a couple and I'll be showing those to you very soon. But either way, I think this is a trend that you are absolutely going to love and I say, go for it. Our next trend is sustainable jewelry. Our sponsor for today, Monica Veneta, has very kindly sent me some beautiful pieces so I can show this trend to you even more. Monica Veneta jewelry is made with 100% recycled 18 karat gold and sterling silver. They feature ethically sourced pearls, gemstones, and diamonds. Everything they do is focused on quality, craftsmanship, and sustainability. And I'm thrilled with these pieces. I can tell you I've been wearing them nonstop. Some of you have even noticed in some of my other other videos and you're like, what you got on there? Are you gonna share with us? And so today I wanted to share with you more about this because I think you're going to absolutely love it. And this is a trend you are going to be skipping <laughs> to jump onto because I think you're going to absolutely love it. So when I got my order, they sent me everything with the beautiful bag inside. If you wanna be able to gift, especially with Valentine's Day coming soon, Mother's Day won't be far off, or if you just want to be able to treat yourself to something really special, jewelry pieces really make a huge difference 
difference with your outfits. They really do. They can really elevate your outfit. They can really make just a simple t-shirt look absolutely amazing. And so that's why I just, I love to be able to add jewelry anyways, but adding that sustainability and the quality is going to be something that we're not gonna just want now. It's not a trend. It's really not a trend. It's more of that more people are really starting to understand how important it is. And therefore, therefore we're seeing that more and more. So let me just show you. I didn't want to even, I didn't even want to unwrap it. It was so pretty. But inside, I do have one of the boxes. Everything comes wrapped in this stunning, it's like a, a rich, almost like raspberry burgundy kind of color. It's absolutely gorgeous. Then inside, everything comes wrapped in their beautiful little velvet pouches. And these earrings are absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely adore this style with the little hoop and the little drop pearl like that. You're also seeing that gorgeous ring. Look at how beautiful, this is, Oh my gosh, I'm telling you, their pieces are not only high quality, but they're also really comfortable to wear. And I think that's really important. The ring with the onyx in it is just absolutely gorgeous. It's really a statement ring, but also really simple as well. Then I also have on this beautiful pearl bracelet. I love to be able to pair it with my watch. I'm also wearing their signature thin bangle. This piece is absolutely amazing. It's comfortable, it's gorgeous. And I also love the fact that it's made from recycled gold and silver. And then finally today, I'm also wearing these beautiful onyx earrings. I loved this style because first of all, they're really comfortable. They're a little bit bigger size, so I feel like they actually make a nice little statement rather than having something that's too petite. I kind of want that mix, right? I want to be able to see them. Well, these are absolutely amazing. Look at that little design on them. Isn't that just so gorgeous? I just freaked. I love them. I've been wearing them so much. And yeah, I think that they, it really just pairs so well with all these other styles. It, all these pieces are everlasting pieces. All these pieces are made with the 100% recycled silver and gold and 18 karat vermeil. Um, but Monica Vinita has very kindly given us a 20% discount. So you'll just need to look down below in the show notes. I'm gonna have a link down there. If you use that link, it'll help you get the 20% off. That is a huge savings. So look down below and thank you again to Monica Vinita for not only uh, sponsoring our video, but for sending so many beautiful pieces and reminding us that sustainability is something that we really need to care about. It's something that's really important and thankfully it's on trend. So we're all talking about it. And that means that some real change is going to occur. That's amazing. Okay. Next trend that you guys, I don't know, it felt shocking to me, but I was immediately like, yes. And that is the cropped blazer. I absolutely love the cropped blazer for someone who is five foot one having these really long styles. I still love the long blazers. You're not going to have to give up your long blazer. This is not instead of this is in addition to, so do not worry. You are not throwing out anything you have. You're just simply adding maybe a piece or two into what you already own. The great part about a cropped blazer or a cropped jacket, sometimes the wording, it's the same kind of piece, but they call it both things just depending on what website you're looking at. So that'll kind of give you a clue if you're gonna go looking for it. Uh, I'm gonna leave the links for all the items I show you in today's video down below. So if you wanna be able to have a quick and easy way of finding them, look down below. All the links will be down there. But the crop jacket slash blazer, super in, really easy to wear. It's a nice fit for anybody. Cause if you're really tall and you're model like, and you've got long legs, it's going to look good on you. And then if you're five foot one, it's going to look good on me too. So I'm really excited about it. I have really been looking at some of the styles that they have. So there's two different ways with this style, the crop blazer that's kind of hitting at the waist. And that's more of like the jacket style. That's one way of wearing this trend. And I think that's an easy one. Companies like Chanel have been making the Chanel jacket for forever and ever. And it was always a cropped look. Celine. Oh my goodness. The, these pieces from Celine breathtaking, absolutely breathtaking. And Dior is no different. They all have absolutely gorgeous crop jackets that I think you guys would 
freak over. Now, if you're not wanting to be at that higher end of the budget and you're looking for some budget-friendly ways to test this out, think about looking at places like H&M. Saxon Avenue has a ton of different options. That's just the cropped jacket. Let's talk about the cropped blazer, something that's even more cropped. That's a little bit different. It's kind of the same thing, but it's cropped instead right underneath the bust. I think that that look is also really, really pretty. The difference between the two lengths of these is how much of your midriff is gonna show when you go to wear that. But either way, either style, really in, really fun, really lasting piece, especially the longer crop. The one that's right underneath the, the, the chest, that might be just a little bit more trendy, but I think I'm gonna definitely give it a try. So stay tuned, because I've, I've ordered something like that and I'm waiting for it to arrive, and then I'll share it with you. But I think it's gonna be really pretty. I think it'll be really nice for someone that's more petite. That'll look really, we'll see. We'll see if it, how it looks, but I think it's gonna be really flattering. I wear my crop jackets that I already own. I, I love to wear them with a high-waisted trouser. Uh, it can be high-waisted trousers with like a pleat in them. I think that's a really beautiful look. It really just helps keep that waist really high and then the height of the jacket just kind of hits in a, in a really nice place. You could also think about a jean. It's really easy to wear with these styles. It just dresses it down a little bit. So it really makes it kind of like everyday wear, if that makes any sense, to be able to take something that might look a little bit more formal like a blazer and just make it more casual. So you could throw on a t-shirt underneath it, a pair of jeans, and even a running shoe or a little white sneaker. That would look awesome. I tend to also wear my loafers a lot. Um, I think I, don't, I haven't even told you guys that I found a really cute loafer that I love. I've been obsessing over these from Ralph Lauren. They are like wearing slippers. I. I even went and looked back to make sure I hadn't ordered slippers. They're that amazing. So I think those would be fun with the crop blazer as well. I've also been pairing mine with, of course, my black leather pants. I just love them. I think it's just a really easy way to just throw on an outfit, be a little bit dressed up. And as the temperatures get a little bit warmer, you can put a tank top underneath them and you can do a dressier tank top or a cotton tank top. But either way, that piece is going to get mixed so many different ways. It's gonna be an easy piece for you just to throw on. Even if you wanna look easy breezy, you can just put it right over your shoulders and now you put your arms through it and you'll just look super fashionable, you know, walking around the street. So it's a really great piece. I think that you guys are going to absolutely love it. I am excited to give it a try. Next up, we have the ruffle, the ruffle, the ruffle. I'm like, yes, I'm so happy that this is in because I have always loved the ruffle. I think it's delicate. I feel like it's been associated with feminine, but I don't feel like it has to be anymore. I think it's just sort of this delicate feeling. It's almost, for me, it was always a little bit of a play on a tie, and I liked that feeling. I liked the little slight nod to the Victorian Baroque style. We've talked about that being one of the trends that we're going to see. If you haven't seen those videos, make sure you check those out as well. I'll leave a link down below, but that ruffle, is amazing and it's come out in a lot of different ways this season. Dior did like a modified bow tie ruffle kind of top, just chef's kiss. I love it, I want it, it's amazing. It's absolutely gorgeous. But the ruffle is going so far beyond just the collar. You're gonna start seeing ruffles in a lot of different ways. We talked about that on the trend video. There's gonna be more is more, and we're gonna see just a little bit more embellishment. Even for those of us that tend to wear things quite paired back, you're gonna see more. I mean, even today, I was like, ooh, I gotta pull out my ruffle top blouse. This one, this is an older one from uh, Banana Republic. Like this one doesn't have the ruffles on the wrist, but a lot of them that you're gonna see this year, they will have that. And so you, I think you could go crazy with ruffles. They can be on the hem of your skirt. They can be on the on the hem of your shirt, on the sleeves, on the, on the collar. You're gonna see it everywhere. You're gonna see modified ruffles where some of them will be more flat laying. And then you're gonna see where there's just gonna be a lot more ruffles. You're gonna see ruffles everywhere. And I personally, this is a trend I've been wearing. I've had this blouse that I'm wearing for a couple years. Like I'm going to have a hard time even linking to something similar because I've owned it for a while. I've always loved this style. I think it's really just delicate and yet 
sophisticated and elegant and I just love it. So if you want to jump on this one, of course, <laughs> check out the Dior ones if you've got the budget right now and that's what you want to invest in. But also look at uh, Chloe has come out with the most amazing jackets and trenches with a little bit of ruffle on them. Those are gorgeous options. Gucci, wow, their ruffle blouses are just absolutely gorgeous and that is a piece that you keep for life. The quality on those pieces is amazing and they're just stunning. They're stunning pieces and they're just a forever piece. You can also check in places like Mango or when I looked it up on H&M, there were 155 options just for the ruffle blouse. So you're going to see that this style is gonna be everywhere and so it's gonna be really easy to jump onto it and I will leave you a few options down below for you to look at because I've been having fun shopping for this. I've got a couple items that might be coming in in my H&M order so definitely stay tuned. I will be sharing that with you as soon as it arrives. Now, a little bit in that vein, there's sort of almost a little bit of a crossover, but I felt like this was a trend that we had to talk about as well. And that is the bow blouse. I've been seeing bows hitting everywhere. Again, more is more. It's this idea that we're gonna see more, but it doesn't have to be in an overly ornate way. I've seen some designs with just flat bows. I've seen some where it's like a full on, the little pussy bows that tie and there's a big bow at the top. You're gonna see ruffles mixed with bows as well. So you're gonna see a lot of options in your stores and I think you're gonna absolutely love this trend. It's one, again, that I use all the time. I love to take that bow blouse. I love to pair it with pretty much every bottom I've got. I In the summertime, I like to wear it with shorts. I love to wear it in the winter with a leather pant. I love jeans. I think a twill uh, jean pant as well. Oh my gosh, like there's, that just looks amazing with everything. And then you can also layer it up, put a blazer over it. You could put that crop jacket right on with it. Celine has been putting out looks like that as well, which is sort of these bows and ruffly kind of ornate tops and then a, a simple jacket over them. That looks amazing. When you have these pieces, they become forever pieces in your wardrobe. I've had so many of my bow and ruffly blouses for absolutely years and they really are just classics. They really just never go out of style, but we're just gonna be seeing even more of them right now and so I'm just thrilled because I'm finally in style. <laughs> Finally today, let's talk about another classic that is going to be everywhere. I think it's really fun to say a piece that becomes a little bit more on trend means that it's a little bit more readily available. But a, a, a belted shirt dress has been around for 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 so long, decades, right? It's become a true classic in the wardrobe, but it is definitely on trend this season. We've seen a lot of really flowy dresses. We've seen a lot of more bohemian cuts on dresses, but this year, every company I have been looking at has a shirt dress that is belted. And if it doesn't come with a belt, it looks like it needs one. So I think we're gonna have a ton of options for this one, and it's gonna be an absolute blast. I think you could buy that shirt dress in a leather material, you could buy it in a faux leather, you can go cotton, you could go for a silk or a silk-like material. It's really, you're gonna see them in every material out there. You're gonna see them, some with pockets, some without them on the chest, but basically, it's that silhouette that just that shirt top and belted in and it's just a classic. And when you buy a piece like this, you're going to be able to mix it up just hundreds of different ways. You can take a simple dress, pair it with a pair of boots when the weather is cold. You can wear it with a pair of sandals, a pair of heels. You could also take that same dress, add a cardigan over it in a, a, a contrasting color. You could put a sweater, just a pullover right over it and just wear it almost like it's a skirt with a top. You'll also be able to pair it with a beautiful trench coat or a heavier coat. A, a shirt dress just really is just timeless. And I would suggest thinking about investing in this one maybe a couple different ways. You might wanna have a solid that's just really easy to mix and match and you can switch out your jewelry and just all those different ways that we already talked about. But I do think it's also fun to add a pattern as well. These are gonna come all the way from the top with Dior. Their shirt dresses, we were in the Dior store the other day and I just had to prevent myself from drooling on them. They were just so beautiful. 
such a piece of art and it's just exquisite. Then Max Mara has incredible ones and they've got their Max Mara weekend collection as well. And that's really affordable. And there's a lot of different, there's gonna be a lot of different options. But I've also ordered from Massimo Duty. That's kind of in that mid range. And then everywhere, like even H&M's got them too. Everyone's got them. Everyone's got them. Those are the places that I'm looking. Also check out even The Gap. I've even seen them at The Gap. So it's really nice when a trend like that, such a classic, but there's a lot of options out there to choose from. I will do a little roundup of my favorites and I'll leave those down below for you. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I don't know about you, but every time I do these videos, I get so excited about getting dressed. I've just been feeling a little bit uninspired lately and all I can think about is getting dressed. I've got so many options. I can't wait. I like wake up and I'm like, how many outfits can I wear today? <laughs> I love feeling inspired about what we're gonna wear. And for me as a designer, I know you get, a lot of you know me from my home channel. If you're not following me there, if you're not following the home channel, definitely check that out. I'll leave a link down below. But I I love as a designer to be able to choose different color palettes. Like today, pulling out navy and black, just it just felt different. It just felt new. And it be, it's because of this video. It got me so inspired about wanting to wear a ruffle. And I was like, I have one of those in my closet. So I hope that for these, you'll find things that you already have and maybe you'll be like, I need to add one or two pieces. I always link those items down below for you if you want to do a little bit of shopping, but also check out my LTK app because that is loaded with ideas and I've been adding to them so much lately. I've got tons of mood boards for you there and you can see lots of different options and how to mix the pieces that you already have in your wardrobe. And then if you wanna shop, the links are there as well. So it's a great tool. Cool. It's one that really keeps me going and I'm giving you the stuff that I'm working on myself It's like, oh, I feel uninspired. Let's get on LTK. Let's create an outfit. All right I can't wait to get dressed again I feel like like my wardrobe is suddenly all new and it's just an amazing feeling So I hope that today has left you inspired. I hope that you will hit subscribe come back hang out with us some more We're definitely gonna have some more fun fashion videos in the future and also don't forget to check out that link for Monica Veneta You guys are going to what? Oh, that's linked below. That's it for today. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.